Friends have described the life of Dwayne Statz as a true American success story. We've all heard the tale of a person who began life in humble circumstances to become someone who beat all the odds and achieved greatness. Well, that is Dwayne's story. He was literally born in a log cabin in southeast Missouri. His parents moved the family to East Alton so that his father could work at Laclede Steel. As a child and a young baseball player, Dwayne told his teammate, Frank Akers, that he was going to become an announcer for the team known then as the Houston Colt 45s. They are now known as the Astros. Dwayne came to SIUE in 1970 and quickly began working on his success story. He and Frank Akers did the first on-air play-by-play on WSIE radio in September 1970, the first year of, the, of that radio station's operation. While still a student, Duane was hired to serve as the announcer for the Oklahoma City 89ers, the AAA affiliate of the Cleveland Indians. Because SIUE was on the quarter system, Duane was able to return to class during the off season. He graduated in 1975, becoming the first sports director anchor for KPLR Channel 11. Then the goal that he had shared as a child was realized. Dwayne was hired by the Astros in 1977. He was only 24 years old. Dwayne's work on the air for teams like the Astros, the Cubs, the Yankees, and now the Tampa Bay Rays has already generated a nomination for the Ford C. Frick Award presented each year by the National Baseball Hall of Fame to recognize excellence in baseball broadcasting. Those who know him believe Dwayne will be inducted in the ball, uh, Baseball Hall of Fame within the next 10 years. He's already been inducted in the inaugural class of the East Alton Wood River High School Hall of Fame. Dwayne is devoted, <laughs> yeah. Dwayne is devoted to SIUE, and although he now lives in Florida, he visits the campus often. He was named Distinguished SIUE Alumni of the Year in 1987, and tonight we are proud to welcome him as a member of the 2010 class of the SIUE Alumni Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Stats. Larry, thank you very much. Um, before I get to this long uh, appreciation speech, I'd like to say <laughs> two things. Number one, I've had the good fortune to share the table with uh, Dr. Vandegrift, and he assures me that while our cars are parked on this campus, they are indeed safe. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, second, I know these things can go on and on, and so I I do promise to be brief. In fact, um, my story is a dream. Uh, I have literally been the kid just walking down the street, and I am the recipient of grace, uh, good fortune. I have had people show up in my life when uh, there was no particular good reason for them to show up. So they have guided me, and this university has been such a force in my life. Uh, as Frank uh, shared the microphone with me in, our, in the first broadcast ever here at WSIE, that radio station went on the air when we entered this university, and it was a major part of what happened. I had, uh, a, I had two teachers at Wood River High School uh, who directed me toward Edwardsville. I had opportunities to go to uh, some other universities, and at the time with a greater profile, but what this university gave me was a combination of hands-on. I could come to this university, I could go to that radio station, I could get my hands on the equipment, I could produce newscast, I could perform newscast, we could go to Edwardsville High School and sit in the top row of the bleachers and do that broadcast when Morris Bradshaw, who later played for the Oakland Raiders in the NFL ran up and down scoring one touchdown after another. 
Uh, I used uh, an, as an audio uh, as an audio uh, tape, uh, as an audition tape, uh, a game I had done on WSIE of a SIUE Cougar College Division World Series game that they had played in when Roy Lee was the coach here. Uh, that helped me to get the job in Oklahoma City, and without that job, I am absolutely positive I would have never gotten a job in the major leagues with the Houston Astros. So I am humbled, and I'm honored tonight. Uh, this institution has been uh, central to me. It does serve the region, and uh, Judge, you are right. If there are youngsters anywhere in this region who feel they have, and we all have, we all, every student in high school today has a gift. It's a miracle that of every person on this earth, they have a gift. They've been given a gift. It's our responsibility to develop it. And fortunately, for those young men and women who are there now, and for me, this university served that purpose to develop the gift that I was given. It was a launching pad for me, and for that, I am forever grateful. Thank you very much.